the poor Lincoln MKX, it debuted with a prow so closely approximating an electric shaver that Remington magnate Victor Kiem might have wanted to buy the Lincoln Motor Company, then, to fit in with the rest of Lincoln's questionable design direction, the gussied-up Ford edge inherited first the Boleyn nostrils that so befouled other vehicles in the lineup followed by the goofy, misguided moustache that was supposed to make Lincoln cease to pick finally palatable to serious luxury intenders, at last, perhaps tired of throwing dismal design at a nameplate that has known nothing else, the division has scanned the MKX badge, tacked on a decent, if not entirely original, front clip, and renamed the crossover Nautilus, inside, however, the Nautilus doesn't quite follow the bold direction presented by the Continental and the new Navigator, the available Ultra Comfort seats offer 22 various adjustments as well as lumbar massage, you can also take your pick of 13 or 19 speaker Revel audio systems, a hidden inductive charging pad means never having to foots with USB cables to charge your phone, and the center stack houses Ford's corporate SYNC 3 infotainment system equipped with both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functionality, the driver takes stock of the goings-on via a configurable 12, 3-inch digital instrument cluster, and the rear passenger windows now feature acoustic side glass for reduced wind noise intrusion, power, steering. The Nautilus will offer two direct-injected and turbocharged engines, a 2.0-liter four-cylinder good for 235 <laughs> Both power plants feature automatic stop slash start, and no matter which engine you pick, you'll find it backed by an 8-speed automatic transmission. The transmission, naturally, is controlled by Lincoln's vertical array of push buttons, an arrangement that might have drivers conjuring up visions of commanding the Red October. While Lincoln's active safety technology doesn't include Marco Ramius grade active sonar, it does feature both radar and cameras to help the driver center the vehicle in its lane. The system will even go further than that, helping a weak-armed, slow-witted individual steer around an obstacle.